Hello and welcome to On the Food Scene with C. I'm here at the Chica Lodge in Isla Mirada, Florida, and with me is Cyrus Heyer, who is the, you're going to have to help me with that. What is the sushi chef called? Itamai is the correct term, and um, it's not exactly the same, it's uh, a little different. Okay, well what are we going to be making here today, chef? Uh, this is called a roll, and this is one of our signature dishes here at Nikai. Um, it's fairly simple, it's soft shell crab and avocado inside, topped with spicy tuna. Chipotle flavored sweet soy and fried green onions. Great. Thank you. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. I'll ask you a few questions along the way. For sure. So that's already prepared rice for the rice cooker? Prepared. Yeah, we actually um, start to finish a batch of rice takes a little over an hour because we wash the rice, we rinse it really good, and excess starch comes out of it. Um, Part of that is actually reinvigorating the grain and trying to actually trick the rice into thinking that it's back alive. Um, when we pull it from the rice cooker, we actually cut it with a vinegar that we make here in house. It's rice vinegar cut with kombu seaweed, lemon juice, sugar, and salt. And then it sits and it kind of just um, comes together on its own. We strain it into a box. Is that a special kind of rice you use, or? Um, it's it's. American short grain, which actually in all reality is a Japanese medium grain. The rice we uh, consume actually comes from Sacramento, California, um, which, which is, is fast. Wow. one of the two larger producers in the United States. A lot of it is grown there and then the Louisiana Valley in all reality. Now let me ask you a question. For somebody that is new to sushi, is mm -hmm. there a type of sushi that you would recommend? <laughs> uh, or do you suggest to the person based upon their palate? So we ask a lot of questions and we find out what people are looking for. And then we push them a little bit past their comfort zones. And that's generally how this works for us. Um, that being said, a lot of people are comfortable with cooked. And that's where they want to begin. Mm -hmm. um, we do a roll here, actually, it's a steak and lobster roll, cooked all throughout. It's got wasabi, aioli, sweet soy, and tempura crunchies. And that's a good start for us, for people who have some trepidation towards the actual uh, consumption of sushi. You know, once they realize that it's not as scary as they seem, most people will open up and they'll trust us a little more. And usually we can take them really far beyond their comfort zone. Um, and we do have a lot of repeat guests that come to us with no prior knowledge and then continue to come back and expand themselves a little further. And, and then further. more advanced and more advanced and more, advanced. And more rare type of fish and spices. Is that what happens with them? Yeah, that's exactly what happens with them. So that being said, go ahead and get this plate in and get you trying it. This dish here tends to be uh, really well rounded. There is some savoriness, some smokiness, some sweetness, saltiness really across the board, all around, really nice. And what is the name of this dish again? It's called the Bonsai. Bonsai, yeah. And as far as I know, only Nikai makes Bonsais. And you've been making sushi for how many years now? Um, in all reality, it's been about 13 years coming up on. The presentation is beautiful. And what are you putting on top now? These are fried green onions. And actually, these took us a long time to perfect. Um, we actually cut the onions a day in advance. We put them in a cooler to dry out a little bit overnight. We crush them with our hands to draw out all the natural sugars. Um, from there, we lightly coat them in cornstarch and uh, fry them at a low temperature for a pretty decent amount of time. And this is the end result. That is beautiful. Well, Onion well, rings without batter. That looks beautiful. It's a work of art. Well, thank I want to thank you for sharing some of your secrets here. And I'm going to try one. Uh, in a few moments, but on the food scene with Steve from the Chica Lodge and Spa, I'm here with Cyrus.